Here we go, guys. Here's that little feet. If I swing round, there's a little Avalon. Right, this is known as artist fungi, and if I pan down, there's some more. Um, if I pick up a little stick, uh, that one I do, and I can show you why. You can actually draw pictures with it. So if I go. Yeah, Pete loves A. Yeah, and um, artists used to use this to uh, do rough sketches with to take home. Also, it's got that lovely layer, and you can get something akin to uh, a tinder fungus. Um, maybe try, one day try charring it like Mike at um, Bushcraft Barton's did. But there we go, folks, tinder fungus. You can even use your nail. Or not tinder fungus, artist fungus. It's a galderma. There you go folks, just a little bimble through the woods today. It's a very nice sunny day as I pan up to the canopy. There you go, this is not bracken my friends, but fern. Much beloved of our Victorians, they used to collect these from around the world and grow them in cold, cool, damp greenhouses. Oh, what a shame, what a shame. Some lovely chicken in the woods, but it's now started to go slimy, so it's definitely past it. It'd be a tough old bird to eat, and not very tasty either. But now I know another source. Just got to keep my eyes open. Well, Avalon's just spotted this, a deer print. Um, can't see any more, but it's obviously going up that way. Somewhere, probably went through there. So pan back down. It's a rather lovely looking deer print. Well, here we go. For my friends who are starting to tr do the tracking, deer sign. Some more. And obviously, the deer's gone up that way. The ground is hard. There's a little mark there. I can't see much else. I hope you're finding this of interest, folks. So much goes on in these woods when it's quiet. Okay, there's not a lot of bird song at the moment. But what's about me is wonderful. I mean, you've got sweet chestnut growing up here. There's some... Here we've got a nice birch. Wonderful tree capable of doing so much for us. It can feed us, it can wash us, it can give us heat and of course it's great for carving with as well. My wonderful Avalon called in Alfie. You know it's not might this might not be the in your face bushcrafty type video that I often do with my comments and views on the world but it's just nice to bimble through these woods. Spend lots of time in this woodland. It's public woodland mostly, and it's wonderful. Sadly, we don't get the horses who fungus on the birches down here. Um, you have to go from Yorkshire upwards, 
a good a good good fungus set. It's really good. But it's just nice to bimble through as I say. Oh chamomile. Normally you see a lot of this right through here, but unfortunately none none sprung up this year, just in odd little places. Make a good tea with this or an infusion. Actually tea is only made with tea from leaves from the camellia bush. It's nice here. And go down into the grass. The home of the Fukawi tribe. They're a tribe of pygmies that wander through this grassland. You can often hear the call called Word of Fukawi. Dog, there we go folks, we saw deer tracks and there we've seen the deer. I wonder if Elfie Dog's up there somewhere. Oops. Well, we're almost at the end of our walk and I found this uh, fungi. I'm not sure which one it is, so I'm going to give it a quick flip over. It's well eaten and... Whoa, look at that. All them little insects and crustaceans living upon it. Um, it could have been an agaricus. There's no vulva. So I'll say that was a wood, a wood mushroom. Agaricus arvensis. Um, I'm going to leave it for these creatures to eat. What's the point of me taking it? They deserve it as much as I do.